Now! Let's see who's under that helmet. Er, box. Robert Zabrinsky. I should have known that cat was up to no good. Walter Peabody must have sent him pages from the Tome of Doom to scare away your cast and crew. Knowing that this would force you to sell. And I would have gotten away with it, too, if it hadn't been for you meddling kids and your pesky dog. How did you figure it out? Well, Shaggy and Scooby's clues steered us in the right direction, but the real clincher was the helmet. Its oversized shape was perfect for the image-conscious Zabrinsky, who could wear it without messing up his impeccable hair. But what about my bro? And over here! Zabrensky ambushed me and wrapped me in these... You scoundrel! Have you any idea how much these mummy costumes cost? That was some great detective work. Even better than in the Big Nap or Death on the Rhine. Say, have any of you ever thought of being in pictures? You know, you'd make a great damsel in distress. Well, now that you mention it, what about me? Uh, well, we always need riders. And what about us? Like, can we do the catering? <laughs> Actually, I had something better in mind. And action! <laughs> like, isn't this the best of happy endings, Scoob, old pal? Scooby-dooby-doo!